Hey guys, Angelo Brewer from FLIR. I'm gonna go ahead and sight in one of my rifles today. Got the Thermosight RS64 1.1 to 9 on top of it. Wanted to let you guys come along, show you how easy it is, show you how we do it, and hopefully it'll clear up some questions along the way. It's very similar to setting the zero on a regular rifle scope, uh, but we do it a little bit differently with uh, some special equipment. First thing you're gonna need is a hand warmer. So what I've done is duct tape this hand warmer to the back of a regular 100 yard zero target. You want to make sure you get that good and close to the center because you're going to be shooting the heat from the hand warmer and you're going to be making your adjustments based on where your impact is. So let's go ahead and staple this to the board. Make sure you're obviously shooting in a safe position. And we're going to go back to the rifle. We're going to shoot a first three shot group. Uh, your rifle is going to come from the factory at zero, zero. So dead center, zero elevation, zero windage. Uh, we're gonna shoot a three shot group, see where that's at, and make our first adjustments from there. We got the R-Series mounted to our Mark 118. We're gonna go ahead and shoot a zero, zero group. So zero windage, zero elevation in the optic. We're gonna see where that's hitting, and we're gonna make our initial uh, adjustments based on that. So let's take a group and see where it's at. All right, let's make it safe, go down range and see how we did. All right, so we got our three shot group at a zero, zero. Looks like we're slightly high uh, from the heat pack that's behind that target. And uh, as far as the windage goes, I think we're good to go. So roughly I'm gonna count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll call it eight inches high. So we're gonna adjust eight inches of elevation, and we're gonna try another three shot group. We shot our first group, now we're gonna adjust for some elevation. So as stated, we're starting at zero, zero. Each click on each model is gonna move the reticle a different amount. So you need to check the user's guide online to uh, verify which model uh, has what adjustments based on what you're trying to do. Uh, this particular model, we're gonna try eight clicks to start with, and we do that by going into the menu. So we go menu, Setup, zero adjust, horizontal is going to stay the same, vertical we're going to adjust eight clicks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to hit menu to accept. So it's very important to remember anytime you make changes you have to push menu to confirm and press and release the power to back all the way out. So now we're going to go ahead and shoot another three shot group based on the eight clicks of elevation and we're gonna see how it's doing. All right, let's make it safe. Go back down and see how we did. So we got our first three shot group. Uh, this was eight clicks. Looks like the rifle's uh, shooting pretty good groups. Uh, elevation, looks like it could come down maybe one more click, but uh, I'm pretty happy with that windage. And uh, you know, we'll go ahead and we'll just go ahead and bring it down one more and see how we do. So we're gonna go ahead and make our uh, final adjustment. I'm gonna do one more click of elevation. Uh, we're gonna leave the windage the same. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go back into the menu, go down to setup, zero adjust. We're gonna go into vertical and click down one. So like I said, menu to accept always and quick touch of the power button to back it all the way out. So let's go ahead and do a three shot group. We'll see where we're at and we'll go verify. All right, we'll make it safe. Let's walk back down, see how we did. All 
right guys, so you can see how that one more click of adjustment brought things a little lower. I'm gonna go ahead and take the blame for those flyers, but uh, other than that, plenty good for a minute of pig, so that's gonna work out well for me next week. Uh, so remember, it's just like a regular rifle scope. Every click is the same amount of space. Uh, it's point of impact, and everything's available online in the user's guide. So take your time, have fun, and you should be able to get it in uh, no more than nine rounds. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, but be safe out there and have fun.